Chess friends, I'm excited to share an amazing game between Torch and me, Torch made a bold move, sacrificing his bishop to disrupt my kingside structure, this game is packed with tactical shots, strategies, and even includes a lesson on a chess opening trap, let's dive into it, Torch started the game with e4, we have e6 d5, French defense opening, knight can go two different paths or you can write the destiny of your pawn, knight d2 call tarish variation and here black can go with knight f6. Let me show you the variation, e5 knight d7, c5 is the main line to consider, by playing c5 your queen will activate on b6 square, couple of moves later we have knight c6 knight to e2, queen b6 to target both of the pawns, knight f3 protects it, bishop e7 and both side played castle, knight f4 knight d8, and white plays queen c2 to target the h pawn, black plays f5, thinking it will create a barrier for the bishop river but we will reply with on passan, take knight g5 to target it. Weak player might think of playing h6, but it will result into a checkmate in just two moves, your luck is so bad, so in this position if you play g6, we will sacrifice our bishop on g6, capture check, king h8 queen h6, king g8 knight g6, threatening mate in 1, so knight f7, but black faces checkmate on e6 by the knight. The greatest glory in living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall, so back to the position, I played b6, bishop fumetto in queenside to activate the bishop, knight f3 knight f6 bishop runs to d3, two moves later I played bishop a6 to put pressure in this diagonal, couple of moves later, we have rook e1 c5, black have usual lines, there is nothing special to achieve, however we have big exchanges in the center. Torch can re-rotate his knight to prepare a bishop sacrifice in h6 square, this move is a highly strategical move, Torch has to play correctly, the simple funda is that, if you sacrifice your piece, it will result into a blunder move, but if an AI sacrifices pieces it will result into a brilliant move, that's the difference between an ant and an eagle, queen is coming to engage in kingside attack, black king may feel suffocate by the pieces so after take torch didn't recapture the pawn. He played queen f5, because he is too much ambitious to attack in kingside, because he is a stockfish subscriber and alpha zero fan, so he sacrificed his bishop on h6, if you dare to capture the bishop, then after queen check king h7 queen f5 king g8 queen h5, if you dare to play king h7 to protect the pawn, then knight f5 will kill your position, there is no way to stop white, superhero torch will punch you and checkmate the game. You must be the change you wish to see in the world, back to the position, we have knight c5 to offer a queen trade, takes and if you dare to take the queen, knight takes f5 will protect it, few moves later, white will play bishop f6, having pass pawns he can destroy you, you have two eggs in d file, so back to the game. I take the bishop, queen h5 to play knight g5 and disrupt black with a checkmate, rook e1 to hide in a dustbin, knight f5, king f8 queen h6 queen e8 queen h7, attacking to the rook so if you dare to save the rook, then after knight d6 check, the file will be open but you have to capture the knight because, you know the reason very well because humans are smart at reasons, better than AI, kicking out the knights from their home, to involve our knight on e5 square, queen goes to b7, queen f5. And the king is in middle of the board, he have health problems so rook doctor assigned him on c8, queen f6 king e8, knight takes pawn, this move is like a suicidal move but you know what, soldiers sacrifice their lives to defeat a country's enemies, protecting us and bringing smiles to our faces, chess mirrors this spirit, we must sacrifice time on trivial matters, conquer ignorance, and use our time wisely with understanding, let's build our best selves in this new life and find happiness. Back to the position, we have king d7 to safeguard the position, torch said, I sacrificed my bishop, let me sacrifice my pawn, if you take it then after knight e5, if black captures the knight, then it will be a checkmate in just two moves. Humans are better at reasoning than AI but their reasoning is a rusty sword, back to the position, we have knight takes e6, and torch here sacrificed his rook, because if you dare to capture it, knight e5 check will call you, hey buddy, you can't capture it because of the same checkmating sequence, king c7 knight takes knight takes, check backs knight check, king b7 knight c5, the king can't go there so after king c6, knight takes e6 is coming which will be a checkmate, 
so king b5. a4 king a6 a5 and black gets annoyed, he offer to exchange their queens, but it will result into checkmate in two moves, so chess friends, if you are enjoying my content then like and subscribe to my channel, drink grapes juice and watch my videos, back to the position, I said, if you can sacrifice your rook then why not I. Rook takes g2, sacrificing the rook away, if you capture it, then queen g8 will forcefully exchange your queens on g8, check back's pawn takes rook knight g3 and that's it, black have a great center and he is completely winning the game. No one can make you feel inferior without your consent, so back to the position, we have king h1, best move is to capture the pawn then the rook, but I captured the rook first which was a mistake, rook e1 king backs queen takes f7, targeting to the bishop with three pieces, couple of moves later we have knight takes e7, threatening knight takes e4, so after capture queen e5, king c8 I captured the rook, now enjoy the game accompanied by my beautiful piano music, this music incorporates binaural beats, which can assist in enhancing your brain neurons and increasing your brain power. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.